Hey everybody, Victoria Marie here, producer director of Gray is the New Blonde, the documentary that I'm doing about the views and attitudes towards women with gray hair. Uh, so today's update, uh, what is today? March the 9th, 2018. I have a lot to cover, so let me just get right to it quickly before I do. Thank you to everyone who is supporting the making of this documentary and very much so here on YouTube. Uh, where you continue to watch my videos. I greatly appreciate it. And if you are kind of new and you like the content that I'm putting up, which includes Gray is the New Blonde, as well as a lot of other things, um, that I just like sharing information on a lot of different topics, and you would like to subscribe, there's a little heart right there on your lower right-hand corner. If you click on that heart, you will become a subscriber. Okay, so let me jump into it because I do have a lot to cover and I don't want this video to be too long. So going back to my last update, which was January 11th, coming up really two months ago, I talked about a, an associate producer who had come to me via an update that I did last June and she was just searching YouTube because she is starting to go gray. Um, she's I think in her late 20s and she is here in Los Angeles in the entertainment industry so she's going through YouTube and she discovers my update from last uh, June and I'll put that video as well as the update from uh, January at the end of this video so if you want to go back and watch those videos you can and she uh, hears that I'm looking for an associate producer so she being in the industry she works behind the camera contacted me and we ended up meeting and things kind of took off and seemed to go well. And in my last update in January, I stated that we were going to be meeting in a couple of weeks. Well, I don't have good luck with associate producers because this is the second associate producer that did not work out. Um, I'm not really sure. She just disappeared. Didn't, never heard back from her. I did attempt to contact her and um, just never heard a response. So this does happen. This is the real world and I am not going to sugarcoat this process. I want you guys to kind of know what I'm dealing with. Um, and so that's that. Now, of course, I have not given up on an associate producer and I remain open to one coming into my sphere, um, but I'm not focused on that right this moment. But if it, some, something comes to me, great. But if not, okay, uh, it'll happen when it's supposed to. So that did not work out. So that's one of the updates. Uh, I did mention this in, um, I'm sure the last update, if not the one before as well. I am really focused on getting this released at the end of this year. I'm very impatient. <laughs> I want to get this done. I started this uh, almost three years ago. It was 2015, April 2015. And uh, initially I thought, oh, I'd be releasing this film in a year. Oh, well, doing a documentary, doing any type of a feature film is a huge undertaking. So I didn't know what I was saying was so mm, pie in the sky. Anyhow, it's not so pie in the sky for me to get this done and for the film to be released by the end of this year. Um, with that, I've actually made some changes in my own career path, my acting career path, to accommodate the time that I am going to need to really focus on getting this done. Um, so I am focusing more on doing commercials, uh, background work, uh, print work, rather than going for those acting jobs that would require me to learn uh, lines and build a character. That's very time consuming and I can't do both. I really want this to be a really good quality film. I want Grey is the New Blonde to inspire women all across the world, um, not only now, but for generations. And hopefully for this to kind of be a snapshot at what we were going through, um, women, at this time in history. A hundred years from now, they'll look back at this film and this will be a, a really great, recording of what we were dealing with. So um, I have to have you know time in my day, in my week, in my month to pay attention to getting a, a good quality film 
put together and released by the end of the year. Hence the reason I decided, okay, let me put the acting with the roles and the, the, the learning of lines and building a character. Let me put that on the back burner for the moment. Stick with my, my print work, my commercials, my background work, stick to those and get this movie done. Uh, the other thing that I have rethought about the movie is I originally was going to go through the film festival route. Now that's very time consuming, it's expensive, and the thing about doing the film festival route, it would not allow me to release this movie by the end of this year. So that kind of like, I thought, okay, then let me rethink this. And there are many, many ways for an independent um, filmmaker to self-distribute a film. And I'm learning all about those ways and have been kind of immersing myself in that subject in the last two weeks because I can do it in a, in a very um, high profile way with Hulu and um, Amazon and uh, iTunes and there's many other platforms that are available to independent filmmakers. So I'm really looking into that because I really do want this to be released for viewing to all of you by the end of this year. With the uh, loss of the associate producer, I did actually meet someone who's now living in Germany, a historian. She's been doing research on the history of gray hair and how we got to where we are now, which is really important to me. How did we get to where we are now, to where women are so shunned if they have gray hair, whereas men, on the other hand, are revered and respected and they're worldly and distinguished and women are just kind of put out to pasture. God forbid they have gray hair. So I really think it's an important element in the film to at least discuss the history of gray hair and how we, how we got here. Um, so it looks like she is going to contribute to the film. Um, but again, we're still, we're, st we're still talking. Uh, she lives in Germany, so right now it's just by email. But it's looking good, and she's very excited. And I happen to meet her on Facebook in one of the private Gray Hair Silver uh, groups. I don't remember which one, but we got to talking a few months ago, and it's kind of evolved. So I'm very excited about that. Um, what else? Oh, in my last update, January 11th, I talked about submitting for funding to the American Documentary Film Fund. I wasn't accepted. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, I kind of thought, well, if it happens, it happens, and if it doesn't, it doesn't, but I had to try. So it didn't happen, um, and that's that. So I'll keep moving forward. Uh, okay, I am putting out uh, another video for an open casting call, but I'll include it here as well. I think it's really, really important for the general public to know what women go through with respect to negative comments. Negative comments from coworkers, friends, family members, perfect strangers that we don't even know. And what I am asking you to do is to make a video. You can do it right on your phone. You can send it to me by WeTransfer. And you can send me a private message on Facebook and I'll, I'll discuss with you how to do that if you're not familiar with WeTransfer, but it's very easy to use. Um, so make a video on your phone about a negative experience that you really remember vividly because I think it's important to share this in the film so that people know how shunned we are and how perfect strangers think nothing about walking up to us and basically telling us you need to dye your ugly gray white silver hair so <laughs> I think that needs to be put out there in that in in the film I think that the um, that the general public needs to know this. Um, I, I just don't think that people really realize that this is what we are going through. So please, this is really important, and I'm, I'm thinking that this is going to be shown in the very beginning of the film. Please let me know if you would like to be included in the film, and you can do it right from your own home, but this will be important. Um, so send me a direct message if you like, and um, I can't wait to hear from you. Let's see, what else? I am still looking for that PhD or scientist, someone who has scientific knowledge about the carcinogenic effects of hair dye and what it does to the human body. 
um, because that's something else that's not really discussed too much about how carcinogenic hair dye is to the human body. Um, so I think it's important that it, it become a part of the film. Uh, let's see, what else? I think that's it. Um, I could say a whole lot more, but <laughs> I don't want to become long-winded and let this go on for 20 minutes. So um, any questions, comments, please let me know. Uh, you can post them below the video. And of course, liking the video is great for YouTube algorithms. They like that. And I think that's it. So until next time, ciao for now.